and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be doing another steam locomotive here, and we're going to be building Western Maryland number 734, a 280 consolidation type steam locomotive. So let's get right into the build here. So the first step is to come wherever you want the front of the locomotive to be, and we're going to put five polished blackstone stairs coming across like this. Then above it, we're going to do a polished blackstone block on the center and two polished blackstone walls on either side of it. Take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around and stack it up to this middle block top. Under it, a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then we'll do our pilot wheels, so come around behind this. Directly behind it, we're going to put a netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. Then open dark oak fence gates on the back of each wheel. Then we're going to put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each wheel here. Then we'll come on this top middle back here and put a line of four polished blackstone on the center up here. And then two polished blackstone stairs spacing outward on either side. And actually we'll just make that four polished blackstone stairs on each side. Just like that. Now we'll do our pistons. So on the top back two blocks here on each side, a two by two of polished blackstone brick blocks. Same thing here. Then we're gonna put two wither skeleton skulls on the front of each piston here. Just like that. Then we're gonna come up on this second block back on the top here, put a dark oak trap door on the middle and an end rod on either side. Then behind it, we'll do a line of three polished blackstone blocks up the top center here. Then take out polished blackstone wall for the piping, one on the back top of each piston. Then we'll put one in each of these two gaps down here, and then another one in front of it on each side. Now come up underneath here, on the center bottom, put two polished deep slate slabs. Then coming off that, we're going to make another 12 slabs coming backwards up the middle. Above that, we'll do a line of 12 polished black stone blocks. Then we'll do our driving wheels. So take out deep slate brick stairs right behind this piston, an upside down stair, and another one behind it. Skip a block and a second pair, back to back upside down. Skip a block and a third pair skip a block in a fourth pair. Then we're just going to come through and turn these all into a plus shape of stairs. Because there's four driving wheels on here. And then of course we have to do the same thing on this side. So come right behind this piston, upside down back to back stairs, skip a block another pair, skip a block a third pair, skip a block a fourth pair, then come up on top and turn these all into a plus shape of stairs. And I just realized these are wrapping around the corner because of that polished blackstone stair in front of them. So we're going to take out that stair in front of them on each side so we actually get plus shapes here. And then we'll finish off these plus shapes to complete our driving wheels. Now we're going to do the driving rods here. So come up behind this piston right here and we're going to put two iron bars, a stone brick wall. On top of it, three iron trap doors. Then behind this here, take smooth stone slabs two of them and behind that we go a block down and take it to the first block of the back wheel. We repeat the whole process on this side. So we'll do two iron bars, then a wall, three iron trap doors on top of it, two smooth stone slabs right behind it, they need to be on this block, then behind it the slabs go down 
and take it to the first block of the back wheel here. Now come down to the back of this here. We're going to put one more polished deep slate slab on this. Then three polished black stone blocks like that. Under it, on the back, two dark oak fence gates. Then we're going to come up top, on the center. And we're going to do another full line of polished black stone blocks up the center. Starting at the front, all the way to the back of this. Then we'll do the firebox. So above this back driving wheel, two upside down polished deep slate stairs like this on either side. Then behind it, a two by two of polished deep slate blocks on each side. Then two upside down stairs facing backwards on either side. Then come under it and in the middle, a two by two of polished deep slate slabs underneath here and a two by two of slabs underneath here. On the back of this, we're gonna put two nether brick fences coming out like this and coming up one on the side. Same thing on this side here, so it looks like that. Then we'll start on the boiler, so we're gonna come up on top of the front here. Right here, put three polished deep slate and turn that into a three block tall plus shape of polished deep slate. Then take polished deep slate stairs, three upside down stairs here, three upside down stairs under here. Then on top, three right side up stairs on either side. Then we'll actually knock out this center one, put in a campfire, and get a polished deep slate block above it like that for the funnel. Now we'll do the rest of the boiler here. So come up behind this front section and we're gonna put a row of polished black stone blocks up the middle and we'll stop one block before these polished deep slate of the firebox here. Then a row of upside down polished black stone stairs here and a row facing this way upside down on this side. Then a row of polished black stone blocks on each side to the back of this and then up the top center. Then a row of right side upstairs up here and facing this way on this side here. Now starting at the back on this bottom row of stairs here, put three nether brick fences coming forward from the back of it. And then we're gonna do a dark oak fence gate. Then in front of that, we're gonna put three sideways grindstones and three polished black stone brick slabs above the grindstones. Then four dark oak trap doors right here. Then we need to come up front in front of the grindstones here. And we're gonna put three more dark oak fence gates right here. Then take out polished black stone brick stair. And on this outside edge, we need one right here. And then one right here, so there's a staircase going up. And we need to copy that on this side, so we have a staircase on this side as well. Then we'll come back over here and put a row of five dark oak trap doors right here. Then we'll come back on this side. Behind where this wall is, we're gonna put three dark oak fence gates, three polished black stone walls, and then a dark oak fence gate, a grindstone, a nether brick fence, and a grindstone. Above these walls, three black stone brick slabs, then a row of dark oak trap doors above it here, and a row of five dark oak trap doors here. Then we're gonna come up underneath this above the driving wheels, and we're gonna put a full row of dark oak fence gate all the way up under there, going from the front to the back. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. A full row of dark oak fence gates right above the driving wheels under here. Now come on the front middle and put on a frog light and a dark oak trap door on the top and bottom of it. Then on the side of it, a dark oak sign with 734. Same thing on the other side. Then we're gonna crouch and get a sign on this bottom trap door of the light. And we're gonna put 734 on that as well. 
Then we'll go through and hit all three of those signs with white dye. And then a glow ink sack on all three. Now come on the top middle, on the second polished blackstone block, a bell, behind it a flower pot, then a polished blackstone block, skip one and another polished blackstone. On this side of the back one, an oak fence gate. Behind that, four yellow candles. Behind that, we're gonna open back-to-back -back dark oak fence gates, and behind that, a polished blackstone slab. And that's all the top detailing. Then we're gonna come above where these black stone brick slabs are. And on the front two, we're gonna put two dark oak fence gates up here like this. And then same thing on this side, two up here on this side. Now we'll come down to the back. And back here, we're gonna fill the top middle three with netherite and bring that right to the back of it here. Then, we'll come on the side of it and do a row of five polished black stone blocks. Then another row above it, and then same here. Two rows of polished black stone blocks. Then take out polished black stone stairs here, and we're gonna come up to the front and put an inward facing stair here and here. Then on the back, a polished black stone wall on each side, then we're gonna do two glass panes here and two here. Then on this top outside edge, a row of outward facing polished black stone brick stairs. And then on the back, a row of five upside down polished black stone brick stairs coming across like this. And then a row of right side up stairs coming across the top on this side. Then go to a polished black stone brick block, two rows of three across here. Then come up each side, one at the back, and two oak trap doors up in here. Now we'll do the interior of it. So come in here, and on the bottom of each side, we're gonna put two polished black stone brick blocks like this, two on the top middle, because the boiler comes far back in the cap on this one. Then we need to get two outward facing black stone brick stairs here, two here. Then come in here, take out this, put another brick, light it on fire. Then we'll close the trap door on it. Then we'll turn around and we'll put a stair on each side for seats. Then we'll take out levers and put one here and one here. Then item frames in a pattern like this and put recovery compasses in the item frames. Then we'll come on down back here in these gaps, put a deep slate brick wall on either side and then extend each wall back by one. On this bottom middle, put a dark oak slab, and then under that, a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then we're gonna come up on the side of the cab here, under the windows. At the back, we're gonna put two oak signs like this, and then two at the front. Come over to this side and do the same thing, so two signs here, and two here. Now take out lightning rods and start a row of horizontal lightning rods right here and stop when you get to these fence gates. Then come up front, put a temporary block here and behind it do a full row of lightning rods till you get to those fence gates. Take out the temporary block. Do the same thing on this side, so a temporary block. Place our lightning rods back to these fence gates. Take out the temporary block and then also a row of lightning rods right here. And then some pictures of this show it with marker lights on the front. So if you want those, we'll just grab a skeleton skull, come on the front and put one here and one here. And now the locomotive itself is done and we have to work on the tender. So come back here, right behind this dark oak slab on the back and we're gonna put five forward facing polished deep slate stairs coming across the tracks here. And make sure it comes out to each side. In front of it, a set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then on the upper hip box, we'll do five polished deep slate slabs coming across. 
another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. And on the upper hitbox, another five polished deep slate slabs. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. And then five polished deep slate stairs facing this way at this end. Then we're gonna come in and grab a wither skeleton skull. And we're gonna put one on the side of all the wheels on both sides. Then we'll come on the top middle and put a line of polished blackstone block up the middle till you're above this stair. Then we'll do another six polished blackstone blocks coming off that. Then behind that on the bottom, five forward facing polished deep slate stairs like that. Then a set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then five polished deep slate slabs on the upper hitbox. Another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Another five polished deep slate slabs. Another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. And five polished deep slate stairs facing this way at this end. Then come through and put a weather skeleton skull on the sides of all the wheels. Like that. Then continue our line of polished blackstone block up the middle till you're above these back stairs. Then we'll come up to the front, on the side of the very front, a polished blackstone block, then a polished deep slate slab. Same thing here, block, slab. Behind it, we're gonna extend the polished blackstone two blocks out to the side, and we're gonna fill that all the way into the back. We'll do the same thing on this side, extend it two blocks out to the side. On the back, put a block on the middle. And then keep filling this all into the front until it's five wide here. Then once we have that, come up under here. Right here, we're gonna put two grindstones, two dark oak fence gates. Do the same thing on this side. Two grindstones here two fence gates. Then we'll come down to the back and on either side of this second block we're going to put two polished black stone walls and then a dark oak fence gate on either side of the bottom. Then take out a dark oak stair for a coupler, stack it up to the second block and under it we'll put two sideways dark oak fence gates for the airline. Now come on top of the front, three polished black stone in the middle then a polished deep slate slab on the top of each side. Then, above that, we'll do another three polished black stone on the center of the top. Now go ahead and put three dark oak trap doors across this gap. Then, we're going to take out an oak sign for our pin striping that's on the tender. And starting right behind this slab, we're going to put a full row of blank oak signs end to end on both sides of the tender here. Once that's done, we'll come on both sides of the front here and we'll put a column of three polished black stone blocks on each side. Coming off the top of each side, this is where the logo is, so we'll put a block of gold on each side, then a red nether brick block, and an upside down backward facing red nether brick stair. Fill in under it with two layers of polished blackstone block. Then behind it, we're gonna come three high with polished blackstone and start bringing it to the back of the tender. We stop one block before the end like this. Come across the back. And then fill in the rest of this side here. Just like that. Now come up front here. And in here on either side we're going to put a polished black stone block. And then we're going to put a smooth basalt in the center for the coal. Then on top of it we're going to come one block back. Two polished black stone on either side. Smooth basalt in the center. Come on the side and do eight polished black stone coming back. And same thing on this side. 
Then, at the back of it here, we're gonna put a backward facing polished blackstone stair on either side. Go back to polished blackstone block, put three across here. Then go ahead and fill this all in behind here with polished blackstone. And actually we'll put three more right here and then three upside down backward facing polished blackstone stairs here. Then we can go ahead and fill this whole gap with smooth basalt for all the coal. Just like that. And actually it's not quite looking right. We're gonna take out these stairs in this row of three and move the stairs forward by one. So put some polished blackstone under there and put the upside down stairs here. That looks more correct. Then we'll come on this back end, take out this middle block, put in a block of gold. Then we'll do three iron bars on each side. And on this left hand side, we'll open three dark oak fence gates. Then on top of the left hand side, do a frog light. Dark oak trapdoor on top of it, on this side, behind it, and on this side. So it makes that rear light. You could also just use a lantern if that looks too big to you. Then we'll come on top here, three blocks in, and on the fourth block, make a plus shape of polished black stone brick slabs here, on the center. Then three dark oak fence gates right here. Then come on the side of this gold block, put a polished black stone button. Same thing on this side here. Then we're gonna come in and we're gonna grab oak signs again and polished deep slate slab. Put a slab here and a slab here. Then behind where this logo is on top here, we're gonna do a full line of blank oak signs to the back of the car and we're gonna do that end to end on both sides. Now come into a loom with a black banner and yellow die. We'll put a horizontal on the top and a diagonal. New banner. Horizontal on top, bottom, and middle. Vertical on the right. New banner. A vertical on each side. Then switch to black die. Make the bottom half black. Then go back to yellow die and do a vertical on the right and a horizontal in the middle. Switch to black die and put a black border on all three of these. And this is for our locomotive number here. So come up on the side of the cab and put 734. Then we'll do the same thing on this side. Put 734 over here. Then we have to do all our lettering on the tender, so get rid of the banners we just made. And we're gonna go ahead and come back into the loom. Same thing, black banner, yellow die. We'll put a vertical on each side and a triangle on bottom. New banner. Vertical on the left, horizontal on the middle, top, and bottom. New banner. Horizontal on bottom and top, diagonal. New banner. Vertical in the center, horizontal on top. New banner. Top half yellow, vertical on the left, diagonal. New banner. Vertical on each side and a diagonal across the middle. Then switch to a black die and put a black border on all of these letter banners. And then we'll come place these on the tender. So we're gonna come up on the side of the tender, on the front, under where this gold block of the logo is. And that's where we'll start off our word. And we'll use the banners to spell out the word Western. Then we have to do the other side. On the other side, we come to the back on the third block in and spell out the word Western. Then 
then we have more banners to make and we can get rid of some of these except we're going to keep the letter R and the letter N but we can get rid of the other banners. Now we'll come back into our loom with a black banner and yellow die again. We're going to put a vertical on both sides, upside down triangle on top, new banner. Vertical on both sides again, then a horizontal on top and the middle. New banner, a diagonal, then the opposite diagonal, switch to black die and put it in the bottom right corner. New banner, vertical on the left, horizontal on bottom. New banner again, make the bottom half yellow, vertical on the right. Then switch to black dye and go ahead and put a black border around all of these banners. Then we'll come place them. So come up here, skip a block, and then use the banners to spell out the word Maryland. We've done it right, there should be two blocks of space behind the word at the back. And then we have to do it on the other side, so come up here, skip a block, spell out the word Maryland. Just like that. And now all the lettering is completed here. So this completes our tutorial of Western Maryland number 734. I hope you enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.